Here we go. This is the first official cut of the shear in its final resting place while using aluminum. All right, this stuff was expensive, so I tried a bunch of test cuts on some cardboard and where's the box? Oh, here. Hey. This was the, uh, the target size. So I'm gonna try and do two cuts at seven inches a piece out of this. Cause this was like, what do we have this? 24? 27. 27 bucks for this. So try not to waste it. And uh, we'll see how it goes. It's like wrapping a present, honey. It is. The sheer brilliance of this machine. Uh... I haven't cut aluminum yet, so it might be worse or easier. I don't know. Ah! Oh, what about the retrieval process being in this final resting space? Oh, that's your job. You gotta crawl back oh, yeah. together. Yeah. <laughs> Evan's on. Whoa! Nice. It's very it's rectangular. It's, uh. Surely you can't be serious. Ay, Dios mío. Stop calling me Shirley. Last one. There's the bird. We need like a little pillow behind there to catch them. Yeah. Or <laughs> a little cardboard box or something. Yeah. Okay guys, I'm uh, just about to try and get this little fuel cell tacked up. Probably drank too much coffee. My hands are a little shaky now. What's up buddy? Pooch is pooped. We're uh, gonna try and get this rolling. Let's see what kind of mess I can make. All right. See if I can get a little bit more uh, done tonight. I'm in no rush, so just do a little bit if I can. Hey guys, it's um, Saturday. I uh, finally got to uh, back to doing this tank. Flog got this hole for the cap, had the bit run away a little bit, whatever. Um, I'll try and, uh, I think I'm going to try something on the finish of this. Like I said, this is one of those things that's completely overbuilt, overdesigned, when I can just use a plastic jug. But, like I said, always it's about making shit. So I'm going to drill these, uh, couple holes for these bungs. I want to do a sight hose, so I'm going to put a bung in either top and bottom and then 90 degree fitting and some hose and then uh, I'll be able to see the level in there. So the only uh, leak that I had was in this bottom corner and it was actually a really tiny just weep so I uh, ground it down a little bit and just ran a bead on top of it. Um, actually dipped the tungsten there so it looks pretty bad. Um, definitely could have ground it further and smoothed it out but I just wanted to make sure it didn't leak. Okay, I've got the bungs fitted in, so I'll try and get these welded up. Alright guys, I got the last uh, of the bung in. I got the two for the sight gauge. These are the first two that I did. And a little messy. And then this one got a little better. Technique's getting a little better. It's uh, I think if I used a uh, thicker tungsten and a thicker filler rod, I would get much better um, like sort of beads because right now the the part that's wet is like really small and I'm swishing it around trying to make it fit because these fittings are pretty big so I think next time around I'll step up on the filler and tungsten and I'll have a better uh, sort of a better finish to it uh, I'm gonna try and do a bit of engine turning on it and uh, change the finish a little bit just for the hell of it so we'll uh, I'll bring you back for that Cheers. So I'm just going to uh, use this little scotch bright disc and uh, it's a three inch disc and I'm just going to run across this in a couple of tracks, see how I go. Uh, I think some guys use wooden dowels and stuff for the smaller diameter or there's like a Kratex stick that's the actual thing for it. But for the sake of this, because it's a larger diameter, uh, I saw someone have some pretty good success with this. So I'm going to give it a shot. I'm, if I was really worried about getting the real uh, 
new older engine turn look, I'd probably lay out some quadrants so I'd come down in the same spot. But right now I'm just going to uh, just roll with it because it is just a fuel cell for the test stand. So see how it goes. Okay guys, there's the finished fuel cell. I'm pretty stoked with how it turned out. I think it's pretty awesome. Just with that little Scotch-Brite disc in the drill press. I mean, if I was really going to do it properly, I think I would do the engine turning on this before welding it, but I wasn't even sure this thing was going to come out okay or work, so... But it's, uh, it's pretty cool. I think it looks rad for a completely overbuilt thing that I could just use a plastic jug for. But as I've said every time, it's just... It's about making shit. That's what it is for me, anyway. So, pretty cool. I couldn't do the ends because my drill press isn't high enough. So I just hit it with the hand drill with the scotch brite, so it doesn't have the engine turning effect. But um, it's pretty rad. So I gotta get a little piece of hose to join these two for the fuel level. And uh, it should be good. But super stoked. Okay guys, I got a mail call here. Shadow Bear, come, bring it. Come on, bring it. Oh, <laughs> you're just throwing it on the ground now, huh? You're like the real mailman, just leave it in the yard like a pack of animals. Thanks for your help, bud. Well, that kind of worked. Anyway, got a bit of a mail call, so I'm just going to go through these. Uh, long, long overdue. All right, first order of business. Everybody's seen this before. It's my mate Ziggy. Everybody knows Ziggy, but um, even if you are subscribed and you missed the sprint car motor teardown that he did, it was about five, five or six parts or four or five parts, I think, of this old sprint car motor that I think he said he built like eight years ago and had been running. It was really cool. That was the first thing that uh, I saw, and I thought it was awesome. So good job on that, mate. You uh, built a stout motor, and uh, it was pretty good. I think there's a pretty good bit of detective work in there, and some footage of uh, I think the um, the air cleaner nut or something fell in there, and it ate the nut, and it was all pressed in the piston. But it was uh, it was really really good. So if anyone gets a chance, um, even you guys who are subscribed, go back and check those videos out. They are by far just really cool. It was a good little uh, series, so thanks mate. Next up is Dave over at uh, Stroked Firebirdable. Yeah, he, uh, he's got this pretty sweet Firebird. He's pro treated. He just finally got it running for the first time in like 20 years or something. It's been on the road. Uh, we all know that's a pretty awesome feeling, so it's uh, go over and check out his channel. He's, he's got a really nice shop, good size, and uh, he's always, always working late. I'm jealous of him. He's always showing he's out there like 2 in the morning or something like that. Very cool, man, and congrats on getting the car going. It's uh, it's good stuff. It sounds awesome. So uh, check him out. All right, who can forget the uh, second gen garage once again? Behind the times, everyone knows Mark. Everyone subscribed, but as always, we we're all uh, enjoying watching your builds, man. This is uh, it's been cool. You got that big block just fired up recently. Sounds good. Looks good. Everything's rocking on that. So it's not far off to be in the car. Um, can't say enough good stuff about those door panels you did too, the spiderweb the second time around, man, that really uh, really looks good in that car, it works really well with the package tray and stuff, and uh, always enjoy the videos over at the chicken farm, it's your buddy's firebird, and uh, it's fun stuff, so uh, keep them coming, and uh, you guys all wrote me a note, which is really cool, I had to leave this one, this is, uh, everybody knows what that is, it's pretty good, oh bud, what, huh, yeah, good job. Thanks, Mike. We all got a laugh out of that. When's he gonna give me a beer? Well, maybe I'll get you a beer when you're old enough to drink, huh? What do you got, like, 15 years to go? What do you think? Think we'll make it? Here's hoping, huh, bud? Yeah, buddy. Gary, come on, man. Look at that sticker, that's cool. Just saw that Mach 1 get fired up recently. Looking good. Man, that thing looks really nice. And uh, building that Fairmont, I think last I saw you got that hood mocked up. And uh, love your attitude, man. It's uh, it's pretty cool. You always uh, give me a chuckle when I'm watching your stuff. It's awesome. So thanks for the sticker. And uh, thanks for the letters for everyone. Um, appreciate it. And also, whoever I don't have, or whoever I haven't sent a koozie to, a beer koozie, remind me, because... I've sent them out, but I got these only a few weeks after I started sending stickers, so I wasn't able to completely catch up, and I think I owe one to Frame Off and Tom Noble, so 
Um, I'll get one out to you guys, don't worry, I haven't forgot you, but um, also if anyone else actually uh, wants some or, or if I'm forgetting someone, just let me know. Right, happy Easter. Somebody's got a pretty good bone. Somebody's pretty happy about that bone. Huh? Alright guys, I'm trying to wrap up the headers, got not much else going on at the moment, so I thought I'd uh, show you what I ended up doing with these a long time ago in one of my videos. I was talking about flaring the tubes out to fit inside here and uh, the other side I did by hand with uh, actually I used one of these pins off my uh, press and I, I rolled the other end of the pin and sanded it a little rounded it and then just used it like a drift and went around and flared open it took a while but I was able to do it um, these are still got the tack marks in here because I haven't finished this but what I ended up doing with this side I think I mentioned I was going to use the air hammer and uh, um, the only sort of die that I could get that was cheap enough was a flat die for like metal bumping and so it didn't have this edge on it so I uh, so I was able to sort of get in here with the air and uh, run this around and that was really nice it worked out really good it was able to follow and it didn't feel like it stretched it as much as when I was doing it by hand it was a little more even uh, so I thought that worked and especially because these tubes had to come a real long way than usual so it was pretty nice alright I just got these uh, welded in and ground they don't look great but I'll be the only person who'll ever see them and more importantly they're smooth and flat as well I was a little concerned about keeping the deck of this as flat as possible so I didn't want to lay into it I think I could have blended them better but I just want to keep this flat to seal it properly but uh, they're all ready to go. So another one down. All right, this uh, video is for Hanson. He was asking about the uh, engine stand, the dimensions. Um, I'll just give you a quick rundown of it. So the main parts of the stand are all made of one and a half inch square tubing, and then the oversized pieces for the slip fit were two inch. So it's just that's all it is. But majority was that, and then anything that's movable is these two inch pieces. I drilled a hole and welded a nut, and it uh, just works like a grub screw to lock it down. Um, the rear is uh, just a T piece, so it slides, and then the trans is another piece. So, same as the engine mounts, I can just slip in if I want to change the style of mount. Actually, this is a poly mount that I bolted and welded on. So this would be one component I'd change depending on what trans I ran on here. Engine mounts themselves, I took some steel tubing, cut it the length of my engine mount, and then drilled through some one and a half to the diameter of the steel tubing, and then slipped it through and welded it around. And then another, basically another T, but I put some angle on here just to make it a little more uh, sturdy, and I've got some holes for pins and bolts or whatever if I need to change the height but I now that I think about it depending on what engine combo I just make new ones of these and drop them in um, and then I beveled the top edge to match the angle of it as for dimensions it's uh, 33 I think it's 30, yeah, 33 by 60 overall and then uh, the height, I think it's nine inches off the ground, it's almost nine and a half. That's for the clearance of the engine crane. These are eight inch casters. If I could do it again, I would uh, weld some square tubing, um, maybe some two inch diameter tubing off the corner and then a plate and then I could bolt whatever casters I want on and off. These are just welded directly here. The engine crane will still clear underneath, but you definitely don't want any lower. And then um, the other thing is the length. Um, the reason that this is out further is because of the clearance that's going to be between the radiator. I'm going to have enough for radiator and electric fan, but if I want to run a mechanical fan or anything like that, this should be further out. So the reality is if the thing was another two feet longer, which it starts to take up a lot of space, but it's only two feet of flat and then especially if the caster is bolted on and off it really wouldn't take that much space up so 
yeah, the only reason this two inch extension's here is for the clearance, so I should have thought about that, thinking how long the thing is with the trans on it. Um, so that's kind of the, the overall thing. So if I could do it again, it'd be longer and I'd have legs for the casters and then this two inch piece here would just sit on the edge and I wouldn't have this hanging. So when I disassemble it now, I've still got this as a 90 that's fixed here. Otherwise it would be up there. So that's about it um, as far as simplicity sake. And then it's just one and a half inch and then some square tubing cut at an angle. But whatever, I mean, that's a control thing. You do whatever you want with it. Um, yeah, well, I hope that helps, and uh, I'm sure it, I'm sure you can fit at this. Even if you're making another half a foot, or I would say foot, you'd be able to fit. I I can't remember if you have. I think if you have a long tail, auto tranny, might be a little longer, but I think the mounts themselves are further in, so you might get away with that lengthwise. But if you're doing it, just make it a little bit longer, and you'll fit anything you need on there, and then uh, it should be good. All right, hope that helps. Cheers.